Hello, Namaskar. Greetings from International Institute Hotel Management. I'm Subhanna Bose. And we are today celebrating the birth anniversary of the father of the nation, the great Mahatma Gandhi. And even today, we are so much inspired by his philosophy, by his ethos, and of course, by his learnings and education, sustainability and the sustainable development are very important in all the learnings and the lessons that Mahatma Gandhi told us years before. Gandhi's lifestyle philosophy has provided a solid blueprint of what we do today for the sustainable development goals because it provided many facets of the foundation of the SDG goals. This blueprint can be summarized into many parts. Number one, human being should be recognized as a part of the nature and not separated from it. Very important that we all belong to a part of the humanity. And that I think is a very important learning from the great Gandhi. The trusteeship principle is very important and so relevant. All of us should be consuming the natural resources responsibly. We should not be greedy and we all should distribute it in a very responsible way. And that is the essence of Gandhi's trusteeship principle. The principle of non-violence or ahimsa, the soul and the heart of Mahatma Gandhi's great preachings should not only stop with us, but should also extend to all form of life and of course to the nature. The sustainable development goals actually underscores this very important philosophy about Ahimsa. Women should be respected, should be treated equally like men and should be given the rightful duties. The SDG concept of the gender equality comes from Mahatma Gandhi's preaching of the partnership and the respect for the womanhood. The bottom-up approach is always followed by Mahatma Gandhi. The concept of the participative democracy, the concept of the Gram Rajya, the Ram Rajya, the Gram Saraj is very important. And that I think is one of the model of the modern day SDG goals. And to continue, the conservation and the sustainable practices was preached by the great Mahatma Gandhi and it should always dominate over unsustainable practices and unconservation practices because this is again fills the foundation of the SDG goals. The concept of Sharvadhyaya and Antardhyaya, the poorest of the poor, they should benefit from the development of the nation, development of the society. All parts of the society should benefit. The poor should get the first preference always. Aparigraha, the concept of simple living but comfortable living is very important. People should not spend unnecessary wealth and show unnecessary wealth. It's very important that we all stay as, we, as it is and simple at the same time comfortable living is the essence of Gandhiji's preachings. Every effort towards development should always lead to local self-development and self-reliance. Sharvadaya and Swadishi, very important part of Gandhiji's preaching, which again is the foundation of the sustainability in the modern world. Ethical use and the self-discipline in resources should be used as much as possible and will lead to the long-term sustainability of the world. All countries across the globe should understand these principles. The Gandhian principles are the foundation, the soul of the SDG goals of today and they must implement it very seriously. Otherwise, the SDG goals will not see the actual benefit of these goals. So it's very important that all countries take it very seriously and implement it very seriously. As we go ahead, I think our long-term and middle-term review are very much required for the SDG goals and its execution and implementation. And I think the principles and the teaching and the preaching of the great Mahatma Gandhi 
are so important as we commemorate his birth anniversary today on the 2nd of October. I think we once again uh, give him all the credit for creating the foundation of the sustainability on which the modern day SDG goals are rooted and created. Thank you so much and Namaskar.